For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Join Reverend Cynthia Forbes for the message of hope. Jesus says to go into all the world and preach the gospel, the good news. The good news of salvation. Why would I choose to spend eternity in hell with the devil who is wreaking havoc in this world? To those who have given their, their time and their life over to him, I don't want to spend my time, my eternity with him. No way. And you should not want to do the same because it is forever and ever unending. Tune in for words of encouragement and hope in a life of Christ. Message of hope right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network every Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. Welcome to the Message of Hope. Wherever you may be at this time of the day, the morning, the evening or night, wherever you may be at this time viewing the Message of Hope. I trust wherever you are, you are in good health uh, even if you are not in good health, you are alive and this is enough to give God praise and thanks for because he said everything that has breath, the dead has no breath, but you who have breath, praise God for life, for another day, for another opportunity to serve him, to do whatever you would have to do for him, to go to your job, to go to school, to do whatever. You have life, you are alive and it's another opportunity to serve God and for those of you as I would always say, who do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, today is your day of decision. As the topic said, citizen or foreigner, today is a good day for you to become a citizen of the kingdom of God. Let's just pray. Father God, I give you praise and I give you thanks for your goodness. Thank you, God, for your mercy, your love, your grace, your kindness, and your faithfulness to us. Thank you for this brand new day. It's a day that you have made. Help us, oh God, in spite of the challenges, to rejoice and to be glad in it because there will never be another day like today. God, just have you a minister across the nations of the world. Save, heal, deliver. My God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, meet needs today, oh God, above all, the need for salvation, the need to be saved. Save precious souls today to the honor and glory of your name. I come against the plans of the enemy. My God, my God, let no weapon formed against us today prosper. Hallelujah, according to your word. Every home, every family, my God, every business are coming into your hands. Every boy, every girl, every mother, every father, every husband, every wife. Oh God, have your way. We need you as much as you need us, oh God. Let your perfect will be done today. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Blessed Holy Spirit. Blessed Lord Jesus, the triune God, three in one, the blessed Trinity. Hallelujah. Oh God, invade our spaces today, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To accomplish your will, your perfect will in lives, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh Holy Spirit, move across the nations of the world. Comfort those that need to be comforted, oh God. Mourning the loss of loved ones, those in their hospital beds. Visit them today. Touch their bodies, oh God. Heal. Hallelujah. Let healing be their portion today, oh God. Even as they call upon you, they may not speak openly, but in their hearts they'll look to you, oh God. Minister to them. My God, my God, my God. Have your divine way today. In Jesus' name. Amen. We go back to our topic. Citizen, a citizen or a foreigner. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We were looking, we looked in the book of Ephesians chapter 2. And I'm going to just read the two pointed verses that I need to, today. Ephesians 2 chapters uh, chapter 2 verse 12 and verse 19 so let me refresh our memories wherever you are viewing yes and i have viewed the former ministry 
that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Verse 19. <laughs> now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints of the with the saints and of the household of God. Right. Paul here, as we had said before, showing the believers. I mean, the epistles, the epistles, the epistles in the Bible are written to build up believers, to encourage believers, and to remind us or show us, help us to live the, the Christian life, to walk the Christian walk. Yes. But even in that, even in the epistles, we could use the word of God to share the gospel, the gospel of the kingdom of God. Verse 12 is showing the brethren, those of us who are saved, we are no longer said that at that time, before we, know, before we knew Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord, we were aliens, we were without Christ, and that's your position today. Many of you right now, you are without Christ, you did not accept Christ as your personal Savior. You are without Christ, you are alien, you are an alien from the commonwealth of Israel, you are a stranger from the Covenants, those covenants, those agreements, those things that God covenanted for his people and for those who trust him. Covenants of promise without hope. Listen, people out there without hope, they don't know where to turn. Instead, in spite of how much you hear the gospel being preached, you hear, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. There is hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is hope in the gospel. There is hope in the word of God. Yet people turn a blind eye and a deaf ear to the word of God and turn to things that will not satisfy, uh, uh, things that hurt and hurt other people and hurt themselves. So, and without God, that's your position. Yes, you may go to church. That doesn't mean you have God in your life. There's a process <laughs> to undertake to have God in your life. We sing God, we talk God, we pray God and all of that, but we don't have a relationship. Some people have no relationship with God. So you are cut off. That's why the topic is called, are you a citizen of the kingdom of God? Or are you a foreigner, a stranger to the kingdom of God? You have no relationship with God. And he's saying in verse 19, even though that was your position now, now you are changed. Listen, you can be changed. You can be changed today. You can become a citizen of the kingdom of God. We looked at how individuals become citizens. We said people become citizens by birth. Birth, birth. Those, those of us who are born in Trinidad and Tobago or wherever, whichever country in the world, you, you are born there, you are a citizen automatically. Just so, you are a citizen. Then we also looked at, by descent, parents are citizens of a country, but their children are born in another country. Those children automatically are citizens of the country of their parents. Yes, but not so. Not so with God. Children are not automatically citizens of the kingdom of God because their parents are saved. No. It's an individual responsibility. Hallelujah. Mothers and mother and father may be saved. They are serving the Lord Jesus Christ. They are citizens of the kingdom of God. But their children will not automatically be citizens of the kingdom of God. They too must have the birth, the new birth. It is by birth, birthing, the birthing process. Got to be born again. Hallelujah. And I know there are people in churches today in the local assembly, let me say, well, we know when we say church, what we're talking about. Hallelujah. In assemblies, the, the parents are serving the Lord Jesus Christ. They are born again. They are citizens of the kingdom of God. But the children are, 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 are riding 
on the ticket of, so to speak, of their parents. They themselves do not know Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. They grow up in church. They grow up in church, so they, in, in the assembly, so they learn the ways of the assembly. They learn the songs and the choruses. They know how to clap their hands. They know how to sing and praise. They know how to lift their hands. They know all those things. But they do not have Jesus Christ in their lives. Don't let that happen to your children. Let them come to that place where they accept Jesus Christ and make him their personal Savior and Lord. <laughs> They're just religious, going to religious activities. And parents take it. Listen, and some of them are baptized. Some of them are baptized. Some of them say the sinner prayer, they go up, but they did not really, really accept it. They do it because the parents tell them to do that. That has happened. That is happening. There are people in the assemblies. Young people, they grew up in church. They do not know Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. They do not have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And they are riding on the ticket of their parents. It will not happen. It cannot work. It's not so with the kingdom of God. You see, because we individually, we have to stand before him. Individually, we have to give an account. No parent is giving account for son or daughter. And no daughter, son or daughter giving account for parent. Sometimes a husband may be saved. The wife not saved. They're going to church, going to church. Yeah, going to the assembly, doing the thing. But they're not saved. Come on, it's crucial. Jesus wants you to be saved. Jesus wants you to be a citizen of his kingdom. He said, I go to prepare a place. He told his disciples, I go to prepare a place. He wants us to be with him. He said, I'm going to come again. Yes, I want you to be with me. He wants you to have eternal life, to live a life of eternity with him. Hallelujah. So if, listen, by birth, eh? By birth, natural birth, as we were born of our parents, but the spiritual birth, Jesus said, what is flesh is flesh. That which is spirit is spirit. We were born of our parents physically. Yes? You belong to the James family, I belong to the Forbes family, somebody else belongs to the Thomas family. That's the name. Hallelujah! We have a name, yes, but there's a name written down in heaven. Hallelujah! Have your name written in the Lamb's book of life. Have your name written in heaven. Yes, become a citizen. Become a child of God. Going to church doesn't make you a child of God. Hallelujah. Nicodemus, hallelujah, he was a ruler. Jesus said, but how come, when Jesus said, listen, you got to be born again. He said, but how come a man old, I am old, could a, a man go back in his mother's womb and be born again? <laughs> he didn't understand. And people out there don't understand. The natural man cannot understand the things of God. It's got to be born again of the spirit because it's the spirit that reveals and brings the truth to us. How can a man, I'm, I'm old, could I go back in my mother's womb and be born again? Jesus said, hello. That which is flesh is flesh. That which is spirit is spirit. We, he was born of the flesh, but now he needs to be born again, born of the spirit. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. So before we were one way, we, we didn't know God. We do all kind of church things. Yeah? But we had no knowledge of God. The Apostle Paul himself who is writing this, who wrote this, he didn't have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. He kept the letter to the he kept the law to the letter. He was so he was zealous. A man full of zeal for the law. <laughs> Scholar sat at the feet of Gamaliel, but he did not know the Lord Jesus Christ. He did not have an encounter with him then. He didn't have a relationship with him then until he had that encounter. And you need an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You need to know the Lord Jesus Christ as personal savior. It begins with that if you want to be a citizen in the kingdom of God, of the kingdom of God. You've got to be born again. 
There's no other way. That's why Jesus said, I am the way. <laughs> Not a way. The way, the one and only way. Nobody can get become a citizen of the kingdom of God except through Jesus Christ. That's, that's what he said. We're only telling you what the word of God says. So if you are not born again, if you have not had your sins forgiven, come on, no sin is going to enter there, you know. No sin is going to enter into the kingdom of God, into heaven. If you have not had your sins forgiven, hallelujah, which is so important, because we were born in sin. Christ came to bring deliverance from sin. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, if you have not been <laughs> cleansed by, hallelujah, or with the blood of Jesus Christ, you are not a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. All of these come together as synonymous terms that used for being born again. Hallelujah. You are an alien. You, be, you do not belong to the kingdom of God. You do not belong. You are not a citizen in the kingdom of God or of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You must, you must be born again. Are you a citizen or a foreigner? You have to know. You have to decide. And you can decide today. You see, today I want to be a citizen of the kingdom of God. Because when Jesus Christ comes, again and he's coming you know he said it he's coming again hallelujah some citizens have gone ahead yes they have gone and we are yet behind and he may come in our time he may come because there will be people alive when he comes again he's going to come first uh, his, his second coming in two phases in the air and on the ground or on the earth when he comes in the air, he's going to take those who belong to him. The dead will arise first, and we who are alive, hallelujah, and remain, shall be caught up together. Come on, people! Come on! Be a part of this! Get excited about Jesus. Get excited about heaven. Get excited about being a citizen. Of heaven. You know, people are so excited to be a citizen of this country, that country, the other country, and I don't have a problem with that. But how many of us are excited about being a citizen of the kingdom of God? You know why? Because you think that is a big joke. Some people think that's a big joke. Yes? Because so long they're saying this and they're saying that. You know, it's a chance God is still giving us. It's not a joke. This whole Bible is true from beginning to end. Hallelujah. It's true. And it says, thy word, O God, is true from the beginning. Hallelujah. It's true. You better believe it. You better receive it. Hallelujah. Accept Jesus Christ. It is true. <laughs> Why all the things, things that are happening around us are here in, the, in this Bible? When Jesus talked about his, what will happen uh, uh, just before his second coming, they are right around us. Look at Trinidad and Tobago. Look at the crime rate. Come on, these people. Fierce, heartless. No regard for life or human life. No regard. Hallelujah. But the day is coming. They will have to give an account. If they don't repent, they will spend eternity in hell. <laughs> but it, there's torment. If the fire is not quenched, the worm don't die. Forever and ever and ever. Come on, people, this is serious business. It is serious. This Bible is not just to fill up a book or get books, put another book in our world. It's, it's God's letter to you and to me it's god's word to you and to me he wants us to know him he created us to know him the thing that brought the separation is sin and jesus christ came to take that sin he took it in his body now we have to accept what he did 
Hallelujah. We have to accept that which he did at the cross of Calvary, shedding his blood. You need to be washed. You need to be cleansed. Hallelujah. So when he sees the blood, like he told Moses in Egypt, I will pass. He will pass over you. Some things will not touch you. That's one of the benefits. Hallelujah. Of being a citizen. A citizen of the kingdom of God. He need to see the blood. Not like when those shouted at, uh, at Pilate's judgment hall. His blood be upon us and our children. No, they were saying, we take responsibility for his death. We take responsibility for his death. Let, we let the chips fall where they may. That's what they were saying. Come on. You, you don't have to say that. The blood must be upon you for cleansing, for deliverance, for victory, for healing, for salvation. Not as a curse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There are benefits, just as there are benefits for citizens of Trinidad and Tobago or citizens in the, any country that were born, born there. You are first. <laughs> first. You are a citizen. You have all the rights and all the privileges, all the freedoms, all the benefits. It may not happen as we would want them to happen because of human nature hallelujah because of human nature because of this sin nature we have curry favor and friend friend come on and things don't happen the way we would like them to happen but we have rights we have privileges benefits hallelujah that should come to us and we, we don't really need to uh, protest and, and, and burn tires and all those kinds of things. Yeah, we don't, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be doing those things. But they happen because all things are not equal, so to speak. Yeah? But God, in spite of what's happening, in spite of what, all that, I don't think these things escape God's attention. No way. And you want to know why he's not doing anything? That's because we have a choice. People choose to go contrary to what God says, go contrary to what he wants. And so we will end up in confusion and calamity. Because we allow the enemy to run our lives for us, to dictate the pace of our lives. When we should allow God to dictate the pace for our lives. But we can, people cannot do that if you don't know him. You have to come to know him. To come to, to to be under his lordship, under his rulership, yes, and that's what some people don't want. Me, he not telling me how to live my life, and people tell us that when you go to tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ and accept Christ and things, they, they, nobody are telling them how to live their life. That is their life, and they go live it how they want, you know. But there is a way that seems right, Hallelujah, unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death, Hallelujah. Are you a citizen? You have had since I ministered this word, then until now. Uh, you probably take it for granted. Uh, she only talking and uh, whatever, you know. It will be a witness against you. <laughs> you have heard, you have no excuse. Hallelujah. You have no excuse. I remember in, in former times, people going down to immigration in Trinidad. They had to be there all like four o'clock in the morning <laughs> to look for passport, to look for visa. Yes, four o'clock. And to set up uh, whatever thing they're setting up to get uh, uh, citizenship wherever they want. Four o'clock and maybe even three o'clock. They had to be there early and the crowd and the crowd and the crowd. People are crowding. How many of you are crowding? <laughs> crowding around to, to, to become a citizen of the kingdom of God. How many are running after Jesus? Uh, the Bible tells us one, one rich young ruler, he ran. To Jesus, hallelujah, to ask him, good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? There is something called eternal life, uh, 
Hallelujah. When you get born again, that's one of the things you get eternal life. Eternal life. It begins here. Not when you die. It begins here. Immediately you accept Jesus Christ. You have it. You have it. And immediately as soon as you accept Jesus Christ, you become a citizen of the kingdom of God. You become a citizen in our land. It's a long process. You have to go back and go back and go back again. And it costs money. It costs some money. Yes. You have to spend some money. Hallelujah. But to become a, a, a citizen in the kingdom of God. Jesus already paid the price at Calvary. The price already paid. It's done. Yes, Lord. It's done. He said, it's finished. It's done. It's done, Lord. It's done. Through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Victory is won. Hallelujah. Jesus paid it all. All to him, you and I all. He paid the price for you and for me to become a citizen in his kingdom. Hallelujah. Do you want that today? Do you want to be a citizen? Or you want to run to be a citizen of other countries? Nothing is wrong with that. But your priority, hallelujah, your priority, think of where you want to spend the rest of your life. <laughs> As a citizen of the kingdom of God or a citizen in hell? Hallelujah. Where would you spend your eternity, the rest of your life, the rest of your life, the rest of your life, as a citizen of the kingdom of God or as a citizen of the kingdom of darkness in hell? The choice is yours today. Hallelujah. A trust today. Hallelujah. Become a citizen in the kingdom of God. You do that by acknowledging I'm a sinner. We were all born like that. It's not that anybody cursing you to tell you, look at you, you're a big sinner. No, we were all big sinners, little sinners, sinner, sinner. Born that way. But Jesus in our lives make the difference. Jesus Christ came to put away sin forever. Accept him today and become a citizen in the kingdom of heaven. Father God, I thank you for your word. No matter how few it might be, God, use it, Holy Ghost, use it to minister Save souls today, O oh God. In Jesus' almighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. God bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless your home, bless your business, bless your family. Bless, God bless our nation. Continue to view the message of hope every Wednesday afternoon on TIN at 5.30 p.m. Love you, thank you for viewing. God bless you. Until next time. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Join Reverend Cynthia Forbes for the message of hope. Jesus says to go into all the world and preach the gospel, the good news. The good news of salvation. Why would I choose to spend eternity in hell with the devil who is wreaking havoc in this world? To those who have given their, their time and their life over to him. I don't want to spend my time, my eternity with him. No way. And you should not want to do the same. Because it is forever and ever unending. Tune in for words of encouragement and hope in a life of Christ. Message of hope right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network. Every Wednesday, 5.30 p.m.